Let the children come to me, do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank the Lord for the gift of this day. And we come together as God's family to celebrate the memorial of St. Jerome Emiliani and also St. Joseph St. Batista, the Virgin. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us now humbly acknowledge our sins, asking for God's pardon and his prayer. You are sent to hear the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Let the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, Father of mercies, who sent St. Jerome Emiliani as a helper and father to orphans, grant through his intercession that we may persevere faithfully to the spirit of adoption, by which we are called and truly are your children. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> reading from the beginning of the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came and morning followed the first day. Then God said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome. And it separated the water above the dome from the waters below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came, and morning followed the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin, so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin, and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth and the basin of water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed the fourth day. 
the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, may the Lord be glad in his works. May the Lord be glad in his works. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. May the Lord be glad in his works. You fix the earth upon its foundation, not to be moved forever. With the ocean as with the garment, you covered it. Above the mountains, the waters stood. May the Lord be glad in his works. You sent forth springs into the water courses, the wind among the mountains. Beside them, the birds of heaven dwell. From among the branches they send forth their song. May the Lord be glad in his works. How manifold are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. May the Lord be glad in his works. short reflection for us this morning as we celebrate this memoria of St. Jerome Emiliani, the father of the poor and the orphans. And we take this reflection from the gospel of today, whereby Jesus, Mark, uh, Jesus in the gospel of Mark reminds us of his universal mission, care for all the people. From this particular passage of the gospel, what it comes to mind is people brought to Jesus all who were sick. And there were as many as they couldn't find a place in where they closed the house to stay, so they went to the marketplace. Now, when you think of the marketplace, it's like I'm in the mall. It's a much bigger area. There's a more parking lot for that matter, though they have no cars, but it's more space. And so they bring these people there and they beg Jesus, let these people touch the cloth. And he never said no. He says, go ahead and do it. When you think of this, whether these people who were brought to Jesus, even they knew who he was. They were brought to him by the people who believed in him. It's like you had a friend who is sick, and you believe in Christ, and then you go and you drag that friend of yours to bring that friend to Christ. And Jesus never questioned them. Do you believe in me? Do you believe what I teach? Do you believe who I am? He never asked those questions. 
He simply healed them. He provided for their needs. And after that, they go home. We don't know whether they even came back and followed Jesus. We don't know whether they even came back and continued to be his disciples. We have no idea. They only came to be healed. Jesus came for all people. Jesus came for all people. And so when the sick were brought, he healed them. And this reminds me of what we are celebrating today. This particular saint, Jerome Emiliani. We are told, earlier on, you join the military. But then he realized, well, God is calling him for something greater than simply serving his people as a military person. And so then he formed a society, particularly taking care of the orphans and the poor. He was referred to as the father of the poor. And so he said to his friends, to his followers, when we show our kindness and the love to the poor, we are serving Christ himself. Brothers and sisters, there were poor people then, and there are poor people today. There were orphans then, there are orphans today. Our message today is, how do we respond to the needs of the poor? How do we respond to the needs of the orphans? They don't have to be relatives. They don't have to be our close friends. They are simply poor. They are simply orphans. Just as Jesus healed these people who probably that was the first time ever he saw them. Because as I said, they were brought by their friends in the marketplace, in an open area like in the mall. He saw them for the first time, but he cured them. He was not related with these people. He didn't know them before. He didn't know that they would ever even follow him after that. But he cared for them. He healed them. He called their sons and daughters of God. And so the same way we are invited today to have the same attitude when we step out and care for the needy, the poor, and the orphans. We don't have to know them to care for these people. We don't have to be relatives or friends to care for them. We want to look at them as God's creatures, people who are created by God himself. And we see in these people the image and the likeness of God. And if we're serving these people, we're serving Christ whom we are following. Let us bring our prayers to our loving Father, the creator of the universe. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to bless and sanctify her in her mission of caring for others, especially the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For national and local leaders, may God direct their actions in service to the common good of their community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the sick, especially those who feel disheartened or filled with despair, may God touch them with his healing hand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this faith community, may the Holy Spirit guide us in affirming the dignity of one another, regardless of race, ethnicity, or social status. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For all those who have died, may they experience fullness of joy in paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. Uh, special intentions of this Mass for members enrolled in the Purgatorial Memorial Society. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we have our prayer. Prayer. And for all our special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we have our prayer. Our prayer. Heavenly Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. You call to the earth the work of the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Receive the one we offer. You throw to the man and the work of the human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, 
beholding the Lamb of God, beholding him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
unless you turn and become like the children, you do not enter the kingdom of heaven, <coughs> says the Lord. Prayer for spiritual communion. <coughs> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Spirit, who travel the world, singing the of souls. Amen. 